game on your side. This is Six News at 5.30. This evening, the fight to change a law that can leave injured patients facing years of legal and medical battles and bills. Indiana's Medical Malpractice Act protects doctors while patients say they pay the price. Six News reporter Joanna Massey has been investigating. Right now, the family of a patient who died is battling Indiana's medical malpractice law before the Court of Appeals. And a doctor who may die before the court rules also wants change. Sometimes the law makes him wonder if it's even worth it. What's 10 plus 5? The thing that keeps me going is, is my, definitely my children and my family. Um, I, know, I know that every day, every day I, I live, every day I stay alive, I can help my kids and I can help my wife. How about that one? One. Good job. Give me five. Dr. Scott Hubbard became a stay-at-home dad so his wife Jacqueline could study to become a pharmacist. I'd like to see her finish that program so then I know, then I know that my wife is capable of taking care of our family. Hubbard has only the time cancer will give him. Stage 4 melanoma means it could be just months. Hubbard's condition, easily treatable if his doctor caught the cancer back in 1999 when he had his first biopsy on a growth on his ear. Definitely, there's an element of anger. I felt, you know, I was going to the doctor regularly. I was, uh, you know, doing what my doctor recommended. As required by the state's malpractice law, Hubbard first brought his case before a medical review panel of three doctors and one non voting attorney. The panel determined Hubbard was a victim of malpractice clearing the way for the case to head to court. The doctor who treated Hubbard has now passed away. Hubbard's attorney, Jason Reese, is adding up medical expenses topping $1.8 million plus $4 million of lost income. Because Hubbard is a Hoosier, he can only hope to get a fraction of that back. A maximum of $250,000 from the doctor and $1 million from the Indiana Patients' Compensation Fund. Doctors pay into the fund so their insurance companies don't have to pay out million dollar awards. Someone can literally, you know, take someone's life and, and really have little to no, there's little to no recourse, there's little to no help. Hubbard is the only doctor we spoke with who dislikes our malpractice law. It has a direct uh, impact. Tim Brown is a doctor and a lawmaker. Does the Medical Malpractice Act protect doctors? Uh, yes, as I said, I think it, it has helped doctors uh, have stability. Indiana even offers special malpractice insurance to doctors who can't get private policies. These are doctors whose specialties are too risky or doctors who have too many malpractice claims. Hundreds of doctors have this insurance. In fact, doctors call Indiana's medical malpractice law one of the best in the country. These are our wedding pictures. But some patients and their family members, like Tim Plank, believe the law has serious flaws. It's been a living hell. A jury awarded Plank $8.5 million for the death of his wife, Debbie. Eight and a half million dollars he'll never see unless he wins his pending appeal of Indiana's $1.25 million cap on damages. Doctors and hospitals need to be held accountable for their actions or inactions. Plank says Debbie died at Community North after doctors waited too long to perform intestinal surgery. The greatest wife could ever be. A community health network spokesperson released a statement saying in part, any concerns voiced by patients or family members about the care delivered at any of our sites are taken very seriously and patient safety is our top priority. Because Plank did not settle his case, he's free to name the hospital. Most settlement agreements demand confidentiality. I still want, you know, my life to be normal. Amber Bay has reached a settlement. She can't tell you who gave her so much epidural medicine during labor she can still barely walk. I usually spend most of the time in the wheelchair. But you can find out who treated Bays using the Indiana Patients Compensation Fund Management System. In fact, you can find the malpractice history of any doctor. Statistics reveal doctors usually win malpractice claims. A state report shows since 1975, medical review panels have found no malpractice 64% of the time. And even when doctors are found responsible for malpractice, patients like Dr. Scott Hubbard will spend years trying to get compensation. Sometimes he wants to give up. Part of me says, well, boy, maybe I should just die so my, my family will get more money. That's how on. on the other hand, I think, well, you know, but I want to I live. I want to be there for my family and get them more stabilized.
The state's Department of Insurance oversees the medical malpractice system. The commissioner declined an interview. A spokesperson told me the department administers the law, but officials take no position on it. Leaders with the Indiana State Medical Association say the law balances the needs of physicians with the needs of patients as well as any other state. Joanna Massey, 6 News.